What's up guys welcome back to yet another review video. In this video we'll do a short review of latest build of Oxygen OS 12 for OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro. Recently OnePlus rolled out the new build of Oxygen OS 12 wherein version was C.40. And this is a quite stable build of Oxygen OS 12. On previous build we had a lot many issues, UI glitches and other stuff. But now I guess most of the things have been taken care by OnePlus and I am using my OnePlus 9 as a daily driver running this latest build of Oxygen OS 12. Before starting with the review process, let's keep the like target of 400 likes on this video. And also guys, we have 80% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel. So it's a humble request, do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Okay, so here you can see this is my OnePlus 9. And if you talk about the software version, here you can see Android version is Android 12. Tapping on version, we are running the latest version of Oxygen OS 12 which is version C.40. As said, quite a stable build and no major issues to be seen till now. We also created a poll asking you guys about the issues what you guys are facing on Oxygen OS 12. We got almost 1.3k votes in that most of the users were asking the battery backup. So let me clear one thing guys, battery backup depends on tons of factors. Every individual have different battery backup but still I'll show you guys what screen on time I have been getting on this latest build of Oxygen OS in the later part of this video. Also we have been getting lot many questions regarding how to update the device to Oxygen OS 12 if they are running stable build of Oxygen OS 11 and those users haven't received the OTA update. So guys OTA update is an issue from OnePlus though they have resumed the Android 12 rollouts but I guess they haven't fixed the OTA server. So if you guys are waiting for the OTA update then we are not sure when OnePlus gonna resume that thing. Those stable builds rollout have already been started from a long time. Only the initial build was paused and after that we got a fix with the version C.39 and later followed by version C.40. So we can't say anything about the servers of OTA update. But if you guys want to update just download the first stable build of Oxygen OS 12 and later you'll start receiving OTA updates on your device. And also if you guys are facing major issues on Oxygen OS 12, it's highly recommended to perform a factory reset once after updating to Oxygen OS 12. Still there are users who have been facing issues related to Widewind certification on most of the devices running Android 12, they have the security level of L3. Though that's not the case on my device. But if you guys are facing this issue, we have already made a dedicated video on fixing Widewind security level issues. Try out that video or else contact OnePlus support team. For me as you can see here, DRM info application shows security level as L1. And if I go to Netflix application, here also you can see Widewind certification is L1. So for me, there is no issues related to Widewind certification. Try using any unbreak tool of your particular device and later update your device via OTA update. Hopefully that should fix all the issues of Widewind certification. Few users also reported auto brightness issues on the previous build. But I guess on this particular build, auto brightness issue have been taken care. Though on this latest build of Oxygen OS which is version C.40, I have faced an issue with my second SIM card and that happened me once or twice. So for once or twice, when I got the call on my second SIM card, the screen did not wake up. But that did not happen all the time, only once or twice I noticed that issue. If I am getting a call, my device will ring if it's in ringing mode, but the screen did not wake up, I had to manually press the power key to wake up the screen. So you guys let me know whether you guys have faced the same issue or not with the second SIM card. Also I have seen few comments on my YouTube video regarding the notification issues. So guys, personally I did not face any kind of notifications, delay issue or like I am not receiving the notifications from particular applications. If you guys are facing, for once, just select that application, long press on it, go to app info and make sure you have given all the permissions for notification. On initial build, I did face this issue, but after giving all the notification permission of that specific application, I never faced any kind of issues related to notifications. And another thing on this build, as you can see here, I tried changing few themes and for me Google feed completely disappeared. And now to get Google feed, I have to restart my device. So as you can see, soon after restarting the device, we got back the Google feed on my OnePlus 9. And this happened to me because I was playing around with some of the themes present on Theme Store. And also guys, a detailed review on Theme Store gonna come soon, in which I'll also include top 5 free themes which you guys can try it out. And as you guys are aware, we don't have an option to change the layout of app drawer in the launcher and due to which most of the application names do overlap with the alphabets present on the right side of our screen. If you take a look at the Nova launcher label, it is slightly overlapping on the alphabets present towards the right hand side. And this is with the default settings what we get soon after we install Oxygen OS 12. Though this thing can be fixed easily by changing the font size, but I think by default OnePlus should take care of such things. If you get the option to change the grid, 
I think that way we can fix the issue of overlapping of application labels. If you guys have seen my previous review of Oxygen OS version C.39, on that we had lots of UI glitches with the notification panel or the status bar. But personally, after updating to the latest build which is version C.40, I haven't faced any kind of issues related to the notification panel. Though I've still seen few users commenting about UI glitches, but guys, for once, Try factor resetting your device. Hopefully, most of the major issues will be solved after resetting your device. So guys, these were some of the minor issues which I have been noticing on my OnePlus 9 running Oxygen OS 12. Also, I'm not covering much about camera segment because there are no changes to be seen compared to the previous build. Version was slightly higher but the results are pretty much similar. As I said in my previous review video, night mode on Oxygen OS 12 wasn't performing that great and it's the same case on this latest build also. Here you can see side by side photos which were clicked with normal mode and night mode and you won't see any major difference in the picture quality. Slight noise reduction can be seen on the photos clicked using nightscape mode. And all these photos were clicked via tripod. In normal lighting condition, the performance seems to be decent. I won't say it's great but OnePlus needs to improve a lot on the camera segment on Oxygen OS 12. You guys let me know what are your thoughts about the camera performance on Oxygen OS 12. So now let's talk about the battery segment. As said earlier, battery backup depends on tons of factors so it will be different for every individual. Here's the screen on time which I have been getting on my OnePlus 9 with this latest build of Oxygen OS 12. Here you can take a look at the screen on time what I have been getting on my OnePlus 9. On day 1 I got 5 hours and 30 minutes of screen on time with bit of gaming and normal usage. On day 2, I got 4 hours and 15 minutes of screen on time with my normal usage. Talking about overnight battery drain, day 1 I only noticed 6% of battery drain in 9 hours. Day 2, I noticed only 3% of battery drain in approx 6 hours. So for me on Oxygen OS 12, battery backup seems to be pretty much good enough and I hardly charge my device once in 24 hours. And I've also not seen much of people complaining about the battery backup. Battery backup and performance is pretty good on Oxygen OS 12. And now last thing, let's talk about the performance part. So basically to test performance of my OnePlus phones, I do gaming and I play Battlegrounds Mobile India. And here, OnePlus 9 is my primary device for gaming. So I personally don't have any kind of complaints layer to performance part on my OnePlus 9 with latest Oxygen OS build. Though only one issue what people have been complaining about is the ability to get 90 FPS. So here, by default, you guys gonna see 60 FPS on your OnePlus 9 or 9 Pro. And it's not only limited to Oxygen OS 12, other OnePlus phones running Oxygen OS 11 also have the same issue. Under graphic settings, we have the option of 90 FPS, but still people are not able to do gaming in 90 FPS. The day before yesterday, I have made a video on enabling 90 FPS in Battlegrounds Mobile India. Make sure to check that video out. You guys will be able to enable 90 FPS in Battlegrounds Mobile India on any of your supported OnePlus smartphone. But remember one thing, if you're doing gaming with 90 FPS, you'll see a lot of battery drain. But if you guys wanna try it out, video link can be found in the description below. Using that video, you guys can enjoy 90 FPS on your OnePlus smartphones. Meanwhile, here's a small gameplay which you can take a look at. After this update, it seems like Android 12 have improved a lot for OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro. So if you guys are looking for stable build of Android 12, then version C.40 is quite stable to be used as daily driver. But for once, it's always recommended to perform a factory reset after you update to Oxygen OS 12. So guys, this was a quick review of the latest build of Oxygen OS which was version C.40. I hope I have covered almost everything. If I missed out anything, do let me know in the comment section below. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.